What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. New rotation finally here, and check this out. It's beautiful. I've only got like three decks on PTCGO. These are the three post-rotation decks that I had built before the rotation went live on PTCGO. So that's kind of nice. All my standard space has been cleaned out for me, and I've only got three decks built. So we are going to give things a spin with this new Rayquaza deck today. I'm going to try things out. This is a Rayquaza Vikavolt list, so I'm not exactly sure if this is even competitively viable at all, but that's kind of the exciting part about diving into a, norf a new format is that we have no idea what's viable. We have no idea what's good. We get to figure that out. That's part of the fun part about playing the Pokemon trading card game as a whole is just getting to figure out what's good and what's not and you know there's no use just saying something like is just blanket bad you know as soon as the format begins i want to give things a try now i think that requires of Vault might not be the most consistent way to run this deck but i could be completely wrong i have had games where the deck just sets up and absolutely just tears through anything that would be in its path if you get an early Vika Vault, i mean you're just going in with rayquaza and just like pumping out insane amounts of damage very very early so that uh you know that could be the way this work works it could also just be absolutely disastrous i think acro bike is just very good in a lot of decks right now i'm not playing acro bike in the uh ray vika volt list that i have here just because i've filled those space with more consistency cards to try and get my vika volts out into play though uh i don't know i mean it is a little shallow on supporters right now i probably should be playing a little bit more draw supporters but i'm also trying to just jam absolutely everything i can into the deck so let's see here also we just have the turn one tempest so that's like another reason why i wasn't super concerned we can do this ultra ball these things we could go get ourselves a grub in that's pretty busted nice top deck there i'm not even going to go get a lele i'm just going to get the grub in, get a rescue stretcher and throw uh yeah the pokemon back into my deck got to throw that vika volt back in there now we're just going to tempest gx so that's pretty sweet i guess i could yeah no point in even guzman or anything like that i was like i could have guzma before i did that since i didn't actually play a supporter but there's no real reason to so as you can see here we've got a turn to uh vika volt that's pretty good if my opponent doesn't judge me here then we are going to have a turn to dragon break as well which is pretty good considering that max elixir is not in format see we've got an altar of the moon in play it's very good for malamar decks these days oh and they are going to field blower it just to be able to instruct for more cards they had a hand with just two inkays and two malamars looks like they are going to be able to ultra ball their hand away for a lele though to get things moving here and they could very well just pop my rayquaza in the active position with this Don Wings Necrozma, which would be a little bit of a bummer. I could definitely get things cooking here, though, with the Rayquaza. Or maybe if they get a judge, I'd say, did they get their... No, they didn't. They didn't get a Lele at all. They got another Inke. Okay. So they are just going to go ahead and they're going to be able to attack then, I think, right? No, they don't have an energy in hand. So they're just going to pass. Oh, retreat to the Inke. Okay. All right, I was going to say, I'm like looking at my hand, so I wasn't really paying too much attention. So instead of going for, that's interesting, instead of going for a Lele, they just went for an Inke and decided to retreat. I'm not exactly sure about that play, but that's fine. We've got ourselves a turn to Vikavolt. I will say that with Tempest GX, getting Vikavolt is pretty easy. You get to discard draw 10. It's not exactly bad in here, so that's not bad at all. We could just go ahead and throw down this Rayquaza. Yeah, let's throw that down. I could have Ultra Balled first, I guess, to go get another Ray. That probably would have been for the best. Yeah, just, you know, order of operations things, but uh, that's fine. I also am not going to Strong Charge yet, I don't think, because I think I'd rather discard, like, energy naturally with my Rayquazas, and then I'm going to Strong Charge to the active here in a second. So let's get this, uh, let's get this Escape Rope I probably don't need. And a lightning out. Let's go get a ray. Another ray. We don't have another ray. We'll get the Latias. Okay, so that's all I have. I can get a Grubbin into play and then go for another Vika Volt. That would actually be pretty insane. So let's just go for that. I have a high count of rescue stretchers in here because I don't really mind if I ri if I mill some of my uh, Vika Volt line. So you know, rescue stretcher is great for getting the Vika Volts back. Rescue stretcher is great. I think. 
I just escape rope here and like force them to put something that they don't want me to knock out active that's actually like pretty funny so let's do that and then uh, they probably won't put up their dawn wings they like don't want me to knock that out so they'll probably put up a Rangaroo or Malamar I assume they just have to put up Malamar they are gonna put up that okay so let's see here let's see if I could actually get a knockout let's strong charge and then we're going to attach let's get a lightning and a grass let's throw those here and then I think so long as I get if I were to get like choice band off of this Cynthia then I would be knocking out the Necrozma that would be insane I did get it so that is insane here I've got mysterious treasures in deck energy recycler as well to throw some energy back into the deck good stuff pretty busted hand I don't have any reason to play this mysterious treasures because I have no more rays in deck just Lele so let's just go ahead and drag a break turn two drag a break I mean this is a pretty sick looking turn two that's about as good as it gets here Rayquaza and Vikavolt both off of that prizes that's insane as well this deck is going to accelerate very fast from here on out if my opponent does not have a way to answer this Rayquaza I should be able to just go completely unfazed through my opponent's deck which is uh pretty busted not gonna lie I mean if this deck sets up this good every time that would be absolutely astonishing I'm not expecting that it would I feel like this is a pretty lucky go at it go at it here let's see they're not going to try to copycat me are they because it's not going to do any damage so i hope they don't do that uh <laughs> because dragon break only counts the amount of grass and lightning on my side of the field unfortunately so that's not not going to work out for them let's go ahead and throw this ray down so we're going to accelerate a little bit get a lightning into play that way then I can Guzma up whatever I want. I'm going to Guzma up probably this Lunala here and knock that thing out. That thing's kind of scary. So let's go throw some things into play. First of all, I want an Ultra Ball. Uh, let's get these out of here just because I don't really think that I'll need them anymore. I could get the Latias. I could get a Lele. I kind of have everything that I want in play, honestly. So let's just get that Latias and throw that out as well. And then let's also strong charge. And I'm playing, you know, honestly, like my my ordering is not like perfect here. I'm kind of just like playing cards, slinging things around. Uh, and this could be a little bit better, but that's fine. I'm just uh, I'm just kind of moving around here and feeling things out for uh, with this deck. Uh, definitely is odd. I mean, I haven't like even thought about like the ordering that I should be using with like the vehicle volts or with the strong charges or you know or the Rayquazas. Very odd like interactions between the cards but as you can see now i should be able to pretty much like just snowball through this deck here i my opponent if they do get a uh dawn wings into play which they can get i mean they're going to rescue stretcher they're probably getting the dawn wings here if they can actually gx me with that dawn wings that's going to be kind of annoying considering i did just like burn through a bunch of these guzmas and things so that would be kind of frustrating but i can lily I can use this Latias Prism Star if that were to happen. So I'm assuming that's kind of what's going down now. I'm about to get GX, and that's definitely annoying. Maybe I should have held on to my Guzma. I think I might have been a little bit greedy there. Should have probably just knocked out the active. But I was a little bit concerned about that Lunala Prism Star since it does do 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all Pokemon, which is, in this case, an absolute ton. So I did want to get that thing out of play, get that thing off the field. Potentially... Did they okay they have to retreat and then they're gonna second recharge and then they're going to invasion and gx my rayquaza so ideally here i think i would get a sort of guzma card or something like that but i'm probably not going to get that just off the top like this maybe i also just like got rid of my i also got rid of my uh of my mysterious treasures but it doesn't matter we top deck the tapu lele gx here so i am going to be able to go get guzma despite the fact that maybe i should have been a little bit more patient with those other cards here so let's do I get to throw? Yes, I will energy recycler. Let's throw some of these energies back into the deck here. And then I'm going to Lele get myself a Guzma. And then I'm also going to strong charge all in one. I think like now that we're set up, this deck just doesn't lose like at all, which is absolutely insane that the power level of this deck is just that high that now that we are just like going on here, now that we got everything you know kind of as it should be they just uh we can't 
we just can't lose. I mean, it's just we've got so much energy in play. I don't know what my opponent could possibly do to try to get themselves out of this kind of treacherous situation that I have set up for them. We're just doing close to 300 damage a turn here, like 240 damage a turn. My opponent can't GX me again. I don't really even need to play cards. Vikavolt is just over here pumping energy into play. The Rayquazas get energy into play, and it really is pretty much a wrap. So that's nuts. I was not expecting this deck to really tee off like this, but I think Tempest GX really is just a pretty insane uh, setup move for this deck. I mean, unless your opponent is playing Marshadow to kind of nerf that, or unless they're playing a easily accessible Judge, which I'm not exactly sure that a lot of decks are going to be playing, you know, Marshadow or Judge early on, though I do think that those cards are both very good. The thing about both Judge and Marshadow is that playing them early also hampers your own setup. And the thing about Rayquaza is if your opponent like judges you early or Marshadows you early, you can just draw out of it with your own Tempest GX. So they would just have to have it on the one turn that you do Tempest, which is pretty tough. That's kind of asking a lot considering there's not exactly a ton of draw options available in the format right now. So I'm interested to see what my opponent pulls out here. Ideally, they would like to attack with a non-EX, non-GX attacker, but it looks like we're getting Marshadow instead dead the only thing that i'm super concerned about with rayquaza here this seems very strong seems good i mean they just scooped it up like they didn't want anything to deal with that uh the only thing that i'm kind of mildly worried about is the fact that gardevoir does seem to be getting way way better here uh next format so let's uh let's try that out again i think i want to see that rayquaza do its thing one more time uh that just want to see if that was a fluke or if that's real life is this deck really going to tee off like that? Get the Vika Vault into play? Just put like infinite energy in play? Or was that just kind of like, uh, well, we ran hot, so, you know, that was pretty good. Uh, this list has, I mean, this list is, eh, honestly, I just like kind of smashed it together here right before filming this video. I think that I had some ideas going on with the Vika Vault version of this list beforehand. But I wasn't really happy with the list that I had before. So I did a bunch of very radical things to the list to try and switch it up. I have mentioned I'm not playing Acrobike. I think I'm only playing like four Cynthia and two Lily. So I'm not even playing any copies of Judge, no Marshadow, nothing like that. I am just playing Lele's. I'm playing four copies of Ultra Ball and three copies of Treasure because you actually would rather see Ultra Ball. Then treasure, I don't think Nest Ball really makes any sense in here. Unfortunately, you would like something else to go get yourself, like Grubbins or something like that. But that's just not really feasible since, uh, you know, since you, I think you kind of have to play Mysterious Treasure. So let's see. We start off against a Necrozma GX. I fully expect most people's rotation decks early on to be a lot of Malamar, which I think Rayquaza does pretty well against Malamar. And then the thing about Guardi is that Guardi can be very slow. Uh, previously, I thought like the best big basic deck really is just Buzzwool. I mean, Buzzwool is very good, very simple basic deck. Yeah, I mean, you still get to Jet Punch, that's fantastic. You get Sledgehammer, that's great. There's a lot of things that Buzzwool has going for. It's very low maintenance. There's not really a lot of good draw supporters right now, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, the deck is just very self-sustainable, and you just go out and you jet punch a ton, then you sledgehammer and b-string at the same time, and your board position is pretty set up. That strategy was already proved to be very effective with the inclusion of cards like Garbodor. You know, you play Garbotoxin, the Garbotoxin Garbodor version of Buzzwool was very good. In the last format, it played cards like Order Pad in order to help you get your B-strings. I think that's still a valid strategy here in the next format. Uh, but I think that, you know, you don't have, uh, you do not have that uh, Garbotoxin, right? So I think that you're probably just going to be playing Buzzwool like, like you would with Garb, but without the Garb. So we've got a Mysterious Treasure turn one here. We've also got an Escape Rope. I'm not exactly sure that I want to play the Escape Rope to give my opponent an easy out think that this would be a hand where maybe I would go get Marshadow. So unfortunately, we don't have Marshadow at our disposal here. Uh, I actually don't mind like getting the Latias. So I could like Mysterious Treasure for Tapu Lele and get myself a supporter, which I actually don't mind. And then going and getting Latias and seeing if I can like, you know, maybe start to Dreamy Mist or something like that. So maybe we'll do that. 
that is probably fine. So let's just do that. I'm not necessarily needing to set up here. So let's uh, let's get a supporter. All right, we are going to get a supporter. We're going to go look for a we're going to go look for a Grubbin. So I'm going to get a Cynthia here. I'm going to slap the Rayquaza down. And then I'm going to escape rope to put the Rayquaza into the active position, I think, so that maybe I can, you know, potentially get an early attack. Let's put the lightning on it. That's fine. And then I'll escape rope. Let's throw that ray into the active position. And then maybe we will get an early tempest something like that so that's kind of that's kind of what i'm thinking here i'm not exactly sure where my opponent will move with this they're going to put the orangu in the active that's fine we'll slap this on there and then cynthia and then maybe we get to tempest and get set up pretty good we didn't get the grub in there this is like a rough hand to tempest honestly you don't really want to do that but uh, i also don't really feel like I don't, I had two rescue stretchers. I think I'm playing like four. A lot of my draw cards. I think I'm going to wait here. I'm not going to, not going to Tempest this hand. I mean, honestly, the hand previous was probably better to Tempest. So potentially I should have Mysterious Treasured and just gotten another Ray and then just Tempest with all that energy in hand. That like could have been better maybe uh it's just a little bit of an odd draw here and as i've said i'm still trying to figure this deck out and figure out the way that rayquaza works in this format without things like floatstone uh you know without things like max elixir it is a different beast for sure i think i want to be careful with how i use my tempest here i think i'd rather use my tempest gx after i have a grubbin in play uh, to kind of help me set things up here. I don't think I need to jump the gun on it by discarding all my supporters. I don't even have a single energy to Tempest here. I think that that just is a feel bad situation. So I'd rather Cynthia into a better hand and potentially consider using that next turn. Now it's possible, I guess, that my opponent, is it possible that they get the knockout with this necrozma this turn they would have to get double psychic recharge with malamars and attach and get a stadium at the active um they're going to invasion here they would have to have i think another psychic recharge and attach to the active necrozma with their stadium but i think that's just a lot to hit the format as you can see is just much 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 slower here i mean really there's not a ton going on so i think here I could hit into that Necrozma. I think I pretty much am guaranteed getting knocked out this next turn. Like we know that this guy is going to be able to prismatic burst. That's like a given. So I think I'd rather kind of spread my energy out. I'm not really interested in knocking out that. I hitting that thing for 90. So I think I'm going to just spread it out a little bit. Let's Cynthia. Let's hope we hit a Grubbin. And then I might just Tempest. Uh, we did not hit a Grubbin. So that's like annoying. And then I think we do Escape Rope though. Throw up my one energy Rayquaza. And then we are going to Tempest. So let's just do that. Um, and uh, that's that's kind of what we got going on. Definitely a slower setup this game. As you guys could see, the last game was nuts. I mean, we were able to get that grubbing out really quick maybe we do need to play nest balls in this list uh but nest ball just seems so bad considering that uh you know considering that it doesn't get to use rayquaza stormy winds ability i feel like you want to use stormy winds when you put your pokemon down so we do have an ultra ball here we could definitely get ourselves a vika volt but unfortunately we don't have an easy way to get rare candy been considering playing cards like Volkner in here i just don't really like Volkner. oh they got the copycat oh they're very excited that they get to copycat my tempest and i would be excited as well it's a pretty good feeling there pretty good pretty good i think i need to i need to find a way to get this latias into the active position i need to find a way I, at this point like setting up the vehicle vault just seems like not possible it's just I have not seen Grubbins, played a couple supporters. This is the first Ultra Ball I've seen. It's definitely definitely a feel-bad scenario. But I guess I could play, like, Fan Club. Fan Club actually doesn't seem like the worst card in this deck because then I can do things like I turn that turn one 
Okay, I think I just need to play a fan club in here. I think I've kind of figured it out. Fan club is actually not bad in this deck at all. And this is like funny because you guys are kind of getting to see like the deck building process happen live here. Uh, but I think that you need fan club in this deck because fan club is a card you could get with Layla. You could actually go get two rays with fan club and you get to still use their abilities. I can also do something like I can ultra ball or mysterious treasure for Layla, uh, get a grubbin and a fan and a, uh, and a Rayquaza GX and put them both in my hand. And I really do like that. So that actually sounds pretty dope. I think like that that's going to be a thing that I do for sure. So that seems pretty cool. And let's figure out what in the world we're doing with this kind of wild hand here. I think I'm going to Ultra Ball away uh, a Grass and that Lele. Uh, let's get rid of those. We gotta go get ourselves a grub in, and let's see how many rare candy do I have left. Two rare candy left in deck. Okay, so let's get that. Um, then we are going to let's go ahead and just start shredding. May we? Yes. Let's do that. All right. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna shred some things. Oh, there's a rare candy. Whatever. Fine. Okay. Here we go. Here. Let's go again. So I think at this point I only have one rare candy left in deck. So the odds of hitting it are pretty slim here, but I suppose it's possible right uh, i don't need to rescue stretcher oh i could rescue stretcher let's get a ray back sure and then well let's see i put the grubbin down and then i could put a ray down i actually knock it out if i rescue stretcher this ray so that's like kind of ridiculous let's get the pokemon from the discard pile into my hand so we're not putting the latias down yet we are just going to do this throw that ray down hopefully we don't mill that rare candy we did not so that's good let's put another one of these there and then i think i want to attach to the active and i want to energy recycler i think if i lily first it increases my odds of hitting the rare candy i did not uh, that's a little annoying but that's fine and then i think i just did fine knocking out this thing here and then i save my escape rope for when inevitably this Rayquaza just gets knocked out and then I need to like uh, I need to get this Latios into the active position to recharge my guys so I think like I think I'm starting to figure this out I think Ray Vega Volt like could be a pretty good deck I mean you definitely get some explosive turns here it's weird because you don't need to play like a ton of supporters i think you got like you know cynthia and lilies are kind of like your best supporters in the deck you don't really want to be playing anything that doesn't draw cards i think this is just the deck that wants to just have a giant hand all the time so that you just have tons of options and things you can do and then since you you know once you do set up vega vault you're pretty much self-sustainable here my opponent rips the b string there so that's pretty good I they cannot GX me though so that's a thing they can't do we're tied at four prizes so they're not going to be able to moon's eclipse GX they can only dark flash me and if they don't knock me out like this turn then they're going to be in a world of pain so I think that they probably are just doing that so that they can retreat and then they're going to accelerate uh three energies of psychic recharge with the Malamars there onto this Necrozma GX, and then they're going to Prismatic Burst for Knockout, and that will hurt. And I'm not getting anything here. I mean, I could get the Return Knockout if I top deck Rare Candy, and I think I got one Rare Candy left in deck. I think I've got one prized. So that's just what we're looking at here. I could Lele for a... Ooh, I think I'm like out of supporters as well. I think I got four Cynthia, one Lily down. So supporters are pretty much a no-go as well. And maybe I just do need a Volkner in here. So maybe I need like one Volkner. Maybe I need one fan club. Fan club just seems very good. I think like with this deck, you just want to get a turn one fan club Tempest. Like that just seems pretty much ideal. So I think I'm going to build the deck to do that. And then you can go ahead and, uh, you know, and you can pretty much just set up from there unless your opponent, of course, judges you or marsh out you or whatever the unfortunate thing about that strategy is that it's just very easy to get that right it's very easy to get a turn one judge or turn one marsh shadow or something like that so i think uh all right we need to knock out this uh necrozma here like pretty bad and this is the like the rough part about this deck is that now that they've got like the machine set up like there's pretty much no stopping it right they're just going to be turning out 180s 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 so that's just that's just a little bit rough, but that's fine. 
We're going to just hope that they don't have Guzma. We did not top deck our rare candy. So yes, we're just going to hope that they do not have Guzma. That's just what we're doing. Let's go ahead. Uh, and I guess I could escape rope, but I don't really have any other supporters to play. So let's just uh, let's just Guzma up this guy here. The Oranguru, it doesn't really matter. They can invasion and do whatever they want. So let's just bring up this guy. And we're just going to hit into it with our Dreamy Mist boy here. And we're going to Dreamy Mist and accelerate energies onto all of our Rayquazas. All my opponent needs really is Guzma for game. Let's just accelerate. Let's see. I've got a bunch of grass energy in play. So I want to accelerate a bunch of lightning energy. Very good. And then if they have it, they have it. That's fine. I probably should have escaped rope to not Guzma so that I could Guzma up this guy next turn. That was like... That was probably the better play there, but that's uh, it's all good. My opponent can't actually knock out this Latias with their uh, Necrozma here. So I was assuming that if they were going to knock it out, they were going to have to bring this Necrozma into the active position anyway. But yeah, by the fact, judging by the fact that they're just like recharging this thing up, I think that uh, they're probably just about to just Guzma and win the game. So that's fine. I think I've got this deck figured out. We're going to take a look at the list and run it one more time to just uh, to see what we got going on here with this. Uh, yeah, there's the Guzma. So good job to my opponent. Well played. Pretty crazy stuff. Very quick Necrozma GX. Malamar is still a very good deck. You guys could tell I played against two Malamars so far in the two games that I played here on PTCGO. And Natalie's here. So what's up, Natalie? Hey. So... Natalie just walked in pretty sweet. We were playing with a uh, Rayquaza Vigavolt. How'd it go? It, well, it was like it completely turned up game one, and then game two I couldn't get a Vigavolt out. Oh, but I think I've cracked the code. I figured it out. We okay. need to play Fan Club, all right? So mm. let's take a look. Yes, yes, Fan Club, because here's the deal, right? You play all these Mysterious Treasures and Ultra Balls, and you turn one Lele for Fan Club, get a Grubbin and a Ray, and then you can Tempest. So then you Tempest, and mm. that's like the best way to get your Grubbins out because you're going to play Mysterious Treasures, but Mysterious Treasure can't search out Grubbin unless you get a Lele for yeah. Fan Club. So the cool thing also is the Fan Club sends the cards to the hand instead of straight to the bench so that you can still use Rayquaza's ability with Fan Club. So that's something that's like pretty cool as well. Four Rescue that Stretchers does not a lot. Use Rayquaza's ability. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, much. yeah, you probably don't use it as much, but I you kind of still need to play more. Mysterious Treasures. No, that's fine. Yeah. I think it just here we go. We got a fan club. Beautiful. Full two, art fan club. Two full arts. I do have full two full arts. I don't know if I have room for two full arts. No, there's one's think, fine. I think, I think just one's, one's fine. fine. Yeah, one's fine. Alright, here we go. Game three with the new ray. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do fine. This ray is gonna be great. And I could have played a Vulcaner in here too. Vulcaner like could be okay, but it's fine. Alright, we don't want to lay on the bench all too much. Okay, we're just gonna play with the one fan club, see if we end up using it, see if it ends up fixing our problems. I really do like the three escape rope. That's very good. I like the four Guzma. That's very good. I definitely think that I could potentially want more draw supporters in here, but you play, uh, you know, you play like seven search cards. You play, uh, you know, you play a couple of Lele's. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I think I definitely want everybody's playing Malamar. Yeah. yeah. It's just like Malamar City out here. Like everybody's got their new decks. They know that Malamar is good. So everybody, everybody's playing Malamar. We won the coin flip. I tried out, yeah. tried out my Buzzwall deck earlier today and uh, just got smoked by a Guardi deck. So that was kind of, hmm. it's kind of crazy there. But yeah, the Guardi deck set up better than any Guardi list I'd ever seen. It had Sylveon in it. You need Sylveon, I, I think, think the Sylveon is really good, so definitely pretty good there. And let's see, do we have a Pokemon? We do have a Pokemon busted. Let's go ahead and start that ray, and then we've mm. got this is ideal. Mm -hmm. this is ideal. I don't even need to Tempest yet. Hopefully uh, you prize your fan club. Hopefully I didn't prize my fan club. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. We need to turn this mysterious treasure into a grub and stat. I think this is uh this is pretty good here. So let's see what we got. Alright, I've got a choice band. So I think uh, well, obviously, I can't Tempest yet, so I think I just uh, probably get rid of the grass. No, I need to keep the grass energy. Probably the energy recycler. I don't actually won't be able to use the energy recycler yet uh, unless they... I think choice band. You think choice band? Mm hmm Okay, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's try... Let's see. I might actually not... Or stretcher. Or I stretcher. You, how many energy recyclers do you have in there? Uh, two. So uh, I think I get rid of the energy recycler. Yeah, I think I'm doing that. 
and then I'm going to go get Lele, and then hopefully <laughs> give me my fan club. There he is. All right, mm. good. So we're going to go get fan club, and then we're going to attach to the active, and then we're just going to be able to attack. So maybe the choice band was the card to get because I could just start attacking like turn two, uh, and maybe I will want to send some energies back in, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we get here. I think we do just get... Um, yeah, now that I'm looking at it, I think the I think the choice band was the card. Yeah, I would have picked the choice band. Uh, I think that I just get Grubbin, uh, Grubbin Ray, here. Yeah. I think Grubbin Ray. I wouldn't even use I wouldn't use the Ray Claw's ability though. I don't know, but then I have this rescue stretcher, so then I can like potentially get like a Lele or another Ray off of it. I guess. So I think. I'm uh, a bad hand right now. Like I don't. And you're gonna tempest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. All right, let's see it. So I, I like if I like mill something good there. All right. So like you just, yeah. I whiffed. That's yeah. fine. All right. And we're going to attach here, and then we're just going to pass and see what my opponent does. And then next turn, we get to evolve into Vika Volt, and then we can uh, just, you know, strong charge and then Tempest. So that's pretty good. Definitely like that. Cynthia, my opponent Cynthia, is to start the game pretty good. Excellent that it was not a Judge or a Malamar or anything like that. Gonna see a lot of these Malamar decks uh, playing Acrobike. Acrobike, I was used in what the second place Worlds list, it was. right? Yeah. So, Acrobike definitely speeds the deck along. I kind of like that. Inclusion helps get Psychic Energies into the discard pile as well. So that's pretty good, especially when there's just not as many Ouch. strong draw options. Nice. Oh, completely busted! Oh, All right, yeah. so let's rare candy into Vega Volt insane dude fan club proving to be completely bonkers all right very good let's go get this and let's accelerate those and then yeah put them both there and we're gonna knock out their only ink turn one completely busted all right here we go put cynthia that, that is a oh, mimic cube yeah so we did get some grubbins very good let's oh, uh ultra ball away the grass and the grub in there I think get another energy into play. That seems fine. I think you get a Lele and hold it. Yeah, let's or get. Oh, you don't. Okay, oh, let's get the Latias. Yeah, and then we can just thr uh, just throw that ray down. Like it doesn't even matter. Yeah, right. uh, and then we just get another energy into play that way because I discarded one, so that's good. And now we're pretty much set up I and ready to go. I am gonna bench the Grubbin because getting two Vika Volt into play is just like. Absolutely insane. We just take that in K. We knock that out. I think there's no point in really tempesting there. No. We could have. We just don't need anything. Like, we're just fine. Now that our board's set up, we are pumping out uh, 210 damage next turn, which is very good. I'm just going to poke you, and then you might be able to knock, you know. I can. I strong out. charge, get two more energy into play. I'm doing 210 next turn, guaranteed, even without a manual attachment from. Oh, no. Okay, so now I'm only doing 180 next turn. Need an attachment from hand. Uh, if my opponent does just poke me here, that definitely is a feel bad situation because they don't have any ink A's in play. But if they can get some ink A's in play, it feels a little bit better. Uh, I am like I okay. close to Tempesting here, but I think I just want to hit it uh, you, um, and go from there. If you miss the knockout, you just attach to the other one and then you know hit it again, hit it, hit it twice. You think so? I think so. I think if I miss the knockout, I just like. Tempest, I think, because there's good. no point. I don't think that there's a point in like um, whiffing. Okay, I got escape an escape rope. rope, but that doesn't help either. I can bring up a another ray and then Tempest. I kind of like that. Uh, Tempest with a clean that. ray. Yeah, I like that. So let's do that. Let's bring up this Rayquaza, and we're going to. We're just gonna. Yep, strong charge. I would put him on the other the one the, the yeah one. yeah yeah the clean one so we're gonna put two of these on the clean one and then i think oh my God, you, oh, it's six. Okay. yeah i think then i could just ultra ball i don't think there's anything that i want to ditch but i'll look um i don't uh, i'll yeah, keep the vega volt in deck yep and then we're just gonna tempest gx all right here we go tempest gx and you guys see there doing 180 damage to that kind of feel silly there's no real way that i'm gonna poke that for knockout i think this rayquaza deck just wants to clean one hit knockout absolutely everything so that's just what we're gonna go for here and now all we needed is really one more turn and now i'm in a situation where i'm pretty much one hit KOing whatever they have to offer now if they do knock out this i was gonna say if they knock out this rayquaza that's gonna hurt a little bit 
but it would be fine. I had my last opponent did try to copycat me after I used Dragon Break, and I think they were probably a little disappointed when they did zero <laughs> damage. It seems like, like, wow, my opponent just did like 200 damage. I'm going to copycat that. And nope, you need uh, definitely need basic grass and basic lightning here in order to do that. Is it basic? It is, is it basic, all? yeah. yeah. Oh, not that. Yeah, I think it's uh, 30 yeah, times. It is. Yep, so it is basics. has to be basic, so even that beast energy. I knew it was energy, grass and lightning, but I wasn't sure if it was basic. Yeah, even right. that beast energy won't count towards their... Uh, towards their copycat there, even if the beast energy is in play. My opponent still getting a little bit of a slow start here. They are not able to get multiple Malamars into play early, as we saw that my last opponent did. I do think that Oranguru is still pretty good in the Malamar deck, especially now that there is just tons of bench space to work with, now that we're not worrying about Parallel City, things like that. You just have tons and tons of room to be able to work with there to get, uh, you know, draw cards into play, stuff like that, Oranguru. And also Malamar just thins its deck, thins its hand very well with all of the Mysterious Treasure, Ultra Ball, all that. Very easy to get your hand down. And so like Acrobike and Oranguru, you're going to be drawing pretty well, usually for the most part. Hmm. And it looks like my opponent might just uh, poke me again for a 100. So that's fine. Do I... I don't think I knock out this thing. I mean, then my opponent could GX me. I think me. he's got a two-card hand. I think you might knock out the Dawn Wings. Knock out the Dawn Wings feels pretty good with the clean, with the clean one. Ray. Yeah, with the uh, clean right. That actually feels kind of fine. To his, uh, yeah. his Photon Geyser. So that. I think we do that. I like that. So let's do here, and let's Guzma the Dawn Wings with this clean ray. Uh, I think that I'm not exactly sure how many energy I have left in the deck. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Should have some energy left in deck. Let's see. Yeah, I have three, so that's good. We'll attach those, I guess, the to the damaged um, one. I feel like the Lele is like probably like safer generally because my opponent kind of wants to knock out these damaged guys, yeah, no. and they can if they just have Guzma. So I'm going to protect it kind of by putting it on the Lele here. And then we're just going to Dragon Break. And I can afford to do that since, uh, you know, now that I have Vika Volt in play, it's very easy for me to charge up a clean Rayquaza. Getting a second Vika Volt into play would be pretty nuts. Just ripped that rare candy. So that's an option for us as their, well. Uh, their best option here is going to be to, like, be able to B-String if they can. Right. If um, they could B-String, knock not, out a clean you one. Have it. You know, you took them off B-String next turn. Exactly. Sure. Oh, I have another no. I have another one. That's fine. Oh. Well, and they do have B-String. But actually, so long as they don't disrupt my hand, I'm like yeah, completely right. cool now because I'm going to get the second Vika Volt into play. We're just right. going to be like hammering energy right. into play. Didn't think they'd have it like that in that I know, hand, right? man. So maybe, maybe this deck, you, you don't judge. really, maybe you don't really use the ability all that much. I don't think you do. I think you could use it sometimes. Bro, I he think just had it like that. He did just have it like that. That's, That's fine. I have a Guzma though. So like it's, it's actually just completely fine. Uh, we are gonna send up the Lele, and then I'm gonna I'm turn, gonna get a yeah. clean ray, and we're gonna be completely fine. So that's pretty cool. I even have a choice band to boot. Let's go ahead and um, one, two, three. Ultra Let's ultra ball, ball first. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna ultra ball away, and energy two energies. That's fine. I think I'm getting two ready energies. to. You're gonna you're gonna energy recycler. Yeah, I think I'm gonna energy recycler. So let's just do that. And you can attach. Let's go and get the Vika Volt. Right. So we're gonna do that going to rare candy into Vigable. And this deck completely nuts now. Like, just look at this. Yeah. Like, no hand disruption. This is, this is just, like, pure power. There is no stopping whatever I'm trying to do here. I can accelerate another energy with the discard. I actually don't even mind I it. Would, uh, it's, what do, do I got to lose? You don't really need to. You could I get might yourself into deck a weird myself. situation with a, with a Vigable because you're about to use a Guzma here. I might deck don't, out. Don't yeah, 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 right, all right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. You don't need That's to. great. No you're right. You you're right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, I don't want to deck out, so that's the real reason there. So let's, uh, I actually need to energy recycler first. Let's throw these five back into the deck. Um, and then, yep, we just detach and start strong charging. And I could throw, it's insane that I could just throw all those energy, like, back into play that I just energy recycled with two Vika Volt out. I don't even think I need to. I think at this point I, I just wait. One. I think I just save the other one. Because you want to be able to like save energy in case I need to like You're locate it somewhere out else. Anything Literally turn. anything. So you don't even need to like thin for a Guzma. Like exactly. Guzma. So we just will knock out whatever for game next turn. Uh, I guess I could have put that choice band down, but mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. 
you can tell, uh, since I'm not playing any judge or anything like that in this list, all I need to do is not deck out. That's pretty much that's pretty much the name mm -hmm. of the game here. And we can see power level of this deck. Copycat, right? Definitely right. there. I did get copycatted after a Tempest yes. once. That that felt kind of bad, but it's fine. You no, know? they can't. Uh, they can't. They can't copy Jack's attacks. Uh, no, I got copycatted with the actual oh. copycat. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait. <laughs> I got copycatted. Oh, yeah. That was bad. My opponent was giving me the smiley face. I was like, oh, okay. Well, all right. <laughs> he had it. Had it like that. So this is uh, pretty much ideal. All right. I think Ray, I don't know, maybe Ray Beekavolt could be a thing. I think the the fan club just makes this list. That yeah. that was that was great. So that was cool. You guys got to see that happen. I was like, uh, you know, thinking about how horrible the deck was setting up, and I was like, wow, we need to play a fan club. That was that was cool. And then we got to see it the next game. It actually worked. So that was nice. I think Tempest is actually one of the best setup attacks in the game. Yes, so Tempest is good. Really good to get set up early. Big wheel could be good now. Big after. wheel could be good as uh, well to help set up decks if. Uh, you know, I mean, what, is Drampa resist Psychic? No, it resists does Fight. It? No, I mean, it's weak to Fighting. Weak I think, to Fighting? I don't think it resists anything, does you it? You don't think? I don't know. I'd have to look at it. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool if it did resist Psychic, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. I, I think he's like... a Dragon type, so I'm not sure. He's, yeah. He's a normal type in the TCG. He though. is a normal type in the DCG there, though. I'll look is it he up. half normal, half Dragon? Or is he half Flying, uh, half Dragon? I think no resistance. No resistance, no right? Resistance. All right, yeah, it's not a normal. It's gonna say you but didn't like you didn't resist each other. In the no, game. you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I I'm just, a lot of colorless Pokemon do have resistances. So, all right, my opponent's just gonna photon guys are there. That's pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much just giving me the game. They know I got it like that. So don't be mean. They just, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, look how okay. much energy we have in play. It's just. It's just really exciting. That's, That's insane. Double, like, 300 damage. Uh, and that was pretty nuts. So I think that... Ray Vikavolt could be a deck. Uh, I actually think that that's probably the best way to build Ray. I don't think you can play straight Ray very well. Right now. Nope. No. That's the best way to build Ray you for sure. Sycamore was so good for the deck. It <laughs> was. It was. Uh, so let's show off that uh, that Ray list there. That was pretty nuts. And this is uh, this is what I'm working with right now. So got just four Rayquaza GX, a 303 uh, Vikavolt line, four Rare Candy, three Rescue Stretcher, four Ultra Ball, and three Treasure, though I guess uh, it could go back to the other way it was but i originally put four ultra ball in there because just you want to get your grubbins out early and mysterious treasure can't get grubbin so i think this mm -hmm. is probably fine honestly and then ultra ball also gets your vika volts so i think you do want four ultra balls like that lily is your other good starting supporter other than cynthia i mean these are kind of like the only draw supporters you really want to play judge no reason to use judge really i don't think maybe you end up putting a judge in here I think Judge is best for Zorark decks. Yeah. I think, like, maybe you put a Judge in here, but you kind of saw, like, once you get set up, you just want to have, like, Guzmas in your right. hand. Uh, and that's pretty much Guzmas, Escape Ropes. Escape Rope was awesome. I think this card is really, really good in a format without Floatstone. I feel like Escape Rope is just good because Dawn Wings is a thing, right? Yes. So, like, Dawn Wings is going to GX you. You're not always going to have the Guzma, and you want to be able to switch the Dawn Wings so that you can still continue taking prizes even on the turn that they use Dawn Wings. So that's super good. Uh, obviously, like, the Latias is there, but... You might, you might not, not need even need it in this list. It in the deck, it's cool to have it, you know, in case you in case you got nothing else going on. Choice ban, very good in this list. Obviously helping you hit just some pretty insane numbers. Rescue stretcher, very good. I think just in case you end up uh, getting a ray knocked out and need to just like respond real quick, get your rays back. It's good. I mean, in case you have to te uh, tempest away anything, also in case you have to temp tempest away Vika volts, grubbins, all that. Pretty much no reason you would need to Tempest away a Grubbin. I think you probably just put that down. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so this is the list we're rocking with right now. It's pretty solid. Uh, two Energy Recycler could be three, uh, but I think two is probably fine, especially if you're being a little bit more conservative with your ability. There's not a lot of energy you're discarding except for when you're getting knocked out, really. Right. So I think this is uh, this feels pretty good. Is a good starting place for Rayquaza Vigavolt. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Let me know what do you guys think of Rayquaza Vigavolt in the comments below. Make sure to check out the Etsy store and the Patreon and all that great stuff that help keep Mahone Tricky Gym alive. Also, uh, check out the new banner artwork and the new icon and let me know what you guys think of those as well. Peace.